All right, everybody, I hope you're having a great day. Um, hey, I apologize for my last video. The audio was terrible, so I have now since upgraded to a better microphone system. Um, so we'll give it a shot here. Let me know um, if this sounds okay in the comments. So what I want to do today is I've got my Rise Tello and my Mi Range Extender, and I will put a link to those in the description. Um, what I want to do here is I want to test two things. The wind today is terrible. So let's get up and take this out a little little ways here um, and just kind of see how it does. So right now we've got that warning. As you can see, vision, vision positioning system may fail in high winds. Flying in windless conditions is recommended. So I'm going out a ways. I'm going to keep pushing it. Um, let's turn. Looks like we still have vision positioning. I'm up all the way to 33 feet. Um, which is the max on this. It's 10 meters or about 33 feet. Um, and I believe the higher you get here, the more of a problem we could potentially have. But the system and the app actually, from what I hear, is what limits this. Now, one thing interesting you can see here is that typically you don't get that up and down that we're getting. And that is because I can tell right now that the drone is actually angling quite a bit. And right there... Um, I don't know if you notice that, but I'm full forward on the stick and it is actually was going backwards for a second there. Kind of interesting. And now it's unavailable. Look at that drift. Unavailable land as soon as possible and I'm getting an auto landing. So, it, oh, and now it just cut out. I have full control again. Interesting. So actually you can lose the vision positioning due to high winds. And I'm getting about, um, I'd say, 15 mile an hour gusts on the wind today. And let's just kind of get her back here, drop it down. And it's doing it again. It's landing and it's drifting. And we got her back here. And it looks to be stabilized. And let's try and take it out a little ways and actually it looks like in uh, in the video here I'm not as close to the tree as what it looks like here on the FPV screen and just a quick note in the lower right hand corner is the actual video here I'm gonna put up from the the drone itself so that's a stabilized video and I'm gonna actually make that full screen and let's try to do kind of a cinematic shot here and just kind of see how this thing will do so let's get over a little bit Right about there and here we go oh look at that precision <laughs> and we're gonna fly up a little bit towards this barn and I wanted to just go back you know and then head on out so you can kind of see for a distance perspective on how far out we're flying and the one thing to note here is when you're flying a drone like this um, with vision positioning on the bottom, if you notice here the grass I'm flying in doesn't have a lot of contrast. So there's not a lot for it to pick up on. So, you know, just keep that in mind if you're over snow or water or if the grass is like a really consistent color. And we lost vision positioning again here. Um, I've never had that happen before, so that just kind of shows you how windy it is today. I've probably got about 15 flights under my belt with this drone, and I've never seen this before. Um, I still feel like I've got pretty good control over it. Um, and actually, I'm full stick forward, and it's not going that fast. And I can tell that the, the drone is actually working pretty hard here. I think I'm going to flip this into high rate mode. Yeah, it is not moving too fast here. Let's uh, let's flip it into high rate. One cool thing is when you do that, the color of the sticks go from white to blue, which is just kind of a neat little little thing. Um, but right now, this is almost underpowered. So let's flip it into high rate. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Check that out. Twenty feet per second. We're up to 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. So that's probably a good 18 miles an hour there. And I let off the sticks just to see, and it did regain. It's crazy how fast that thing regains um, its position and stops. This thing stops on a dime. 
So we're going. One other thing I noticed that I've never noticed in flights before is you notice I'm pushing forward right now and how it's green, that little green halo. When you push it all the way forward, that actually turns red right there, as you can see. That's kind of neat. So that tells you when it's maxed out. Never noticed that before. So we're learning things here together. We'll go over a little bit, get a little shot here of the park, spin around. This is just an awesome little drone to fly. I mean, it, in my last video of reviewing this, had some high winds, and I was actually saying in some ways this is more fun than my DJI Spark. I love the Spark. I mean, that thing has got to be, you know, definitely one of my all-time favorite drones. But the thing I really like about this Tello is the simplicity of it. I can throw this into my car, and if I use it, great. Um, and if I don't, not a problem. Um, but really with this range extender you are getting so much more capability out of this drone. I mean, really, with your Spark, do you really need to fly 1.2 miles away and max out the distance? No. Most of the time you're going up, and actually probably 90% of the time for me, it's just to have some fun. And this thing is fun. You don't need to take it out of sight to have fun. Um, and vision positioning is unavailable. This thing is still totally flyable, though. If you're comfortable flying drones without any positioning and we're landing, nope. We're going to cancel out of that, keep moving forward. And I measured this out. If I can make it to the second tree, I'm at about 325 feet. And let's keep pushing full bars of reception. Oh, dro just dropped down to three, which is still good. That's still plenty. And look at that video. That video is still smooth. That is unbelievable. This... Uh, me range extender that I got cost me $13. It shipped to my house in two days from Amazon. And look at that. That is just awesome. And now we're going with the wind in slow rate, going 10 feet per second. Um, this is just really a lot of fun to fly. And anybody can pick this up and fly it. You know, it's just, I would not recommend flying this in windy conditions. Um, that is something you do need to know how to pilot this. But honestly, it's much like with the DJI Spark, how I recommend only to fly that with the controller and not with your cell phone. Um, with this Telodrone, I would very much recommend getting a range extender. Um, this just makes this way more fun. And it easily, easily, I was probably only getting about 30, 40 feet, which is my cell phone alone. And with this range extender, I'm getting 325 feet and I'm not even fully pushing it because of the wind here. Um, so I wanted to do these two tests. I thought it was a perfect day for this. Just zip around here quick. Um, but this is just really cool. Vision positioning unavailable. Um, one thing I kind of wish is that you could turn off that auto landing. I totally understand why Rise put that in there. Um, it makes sense if you lose range or it's windy. They want that drone to drop down and land exactly as soon as possible and not a second later, which I totally agree. If you lose reception on this thing, drop it down because I don't want it flying off <laughs> and never getting it back. The other thing I really want is notice that battery bar does not have a percentage meter anymore. Um, for some reason, that really drives me nuts. I did reach out to Rise, and they got back to me. Customer service is excellent. Oh, we're landing again. Um, and they said that they did that because it wasn't totally accurate, and they did not want to offer a feature that was not 100% um, up to par. So they took that off. So I'm going to go ahead, bring it on in for a landing. Um, really appreciate you guys watching the video. Um, please subscribe for more. I'm going to do a lot more of these types of videos and let me know if you like them. Let me know if you want to see something else. Um, I really like your guys' feedback and uh, what you want to see. So um, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.